What's up? Kamusta mga kabote? In today's vlog, gagawa tayo ng comparison video regarding stock brakes and performance brakes specifically for our motorcycles. Ang gagamitin kong motor is yung Yamaha NMAX 155 ko pero pwede rin siya sa Aerox, sa Mio, sa Big Bikes and so on. Kung gusto niya rin manalo ng raffle guys, all you have to do is to share this YouTube video, take a screenshot, huwag niyong kakalimutan screenshot. Share nyo yung YouTube video, take a screenshot, tapos send nyo yung screenshot dito sa Facebook page ko for a chance to win this sticker na merong elig sa likod. This is the manufacturer of the brake pads that we are going to review today. Uh, worth 500 pesos yung pwede nyo mapanalunan. So, good luck guys and we're on to the review. So ayun mga kabote, lumabas tayo dito sa may playground area ng subdivision namin. Nag-set up ako ng mga markers kung nakikita nyo ngayon. Uh, sinet up ko yan, ang gap ng bawat number is tigwa 1 meter. So meron tayong 1 hanggang number 10. So ibig sabihin yung total braking distance natin hanggang 10 meters. Tapos, yung tape measure na to, yung linya na to, so ito yung ating zero. So once na dumaan yung Nmax natin dyan, dyan natin titigain ng maximum yung ating levers, front and back, pareho, pigang piga. Titignan natin kung gano'ng kalayo yung braking distance natin. Susubukan natin siya ng tatlong beses para accurate yung ating experiment. Okay? So yun mga kabote, first try natin, susubukan natin mag-brake uh, at about 40 km per hour. We'll try to run this bike for 40 km per hour. Apply the maximum brakes once we reach the uh, tape measure dun sa sinetap natin banda roon. Okay, so first try. Again, 40 km per hour muna. Okay. Okay, so 6 meters in between 6 and 7 meters. So we'll try it one more time. Okay, second attempt 6 meters in between 6 and 7 meters. One more time. Okay, third try. Third try, mga sir. Okay, so that concludes our 40 kilometers per hour braking distance for stock brakes. Again, it's in between 6 and 7 meter guys. So let's check out naman ano yung effect kapag tagpalit tayo ng ceramic brakes. Ito yung ipapalit natin brake pads dun sa NMAX natin. This is from... Elig. So if you want to check them out, you just type Elig in your Facebook page. Makikita niyo yung mga brake pads nila for different types of bikes, different types of big bikes. Kung Kawasaki, Honda, Yamaha, marami silang stock ng brakes. Depende sa use, depende kung pang commuter, pang racer, and so on and so forth. Uh, buksan natin para makita ninyo Ayan So ito yung itsura niya Kapag natanggal niya siya doon sa kanyang parang box uh, Mamaya na ako gagawa ng comparison Kapag natanggal ko na yung stock brakes Papakita ko sa inyo yung difference ng material nito As compared doon sa stock brakes na ginagamit ng Yamaha and Max natin So tanggalin ko muna Tapos balikan ko kayo guys So yun mga kabote, natanggal na natin yung brake pads ni NMAX, yung stock brake pads. So papakita ko sa inyo yung itsura ng stock brake pads niya. So ito yung sa front guys. <clears throat> Nilinis ko na to. So as you can see, it's still fairly new. My bike is 1,000 kilometers pa lang. So bagong bago pa tong brake pads na to. Ang pangit dito sa brake pads sa harapan, these are organic brake pads. Yung ganitong klase ng material, they tend to be compressible. So, ang ibig ko sabihin, kumbaga sa tinapay, ano to, na napipitpet. 
So what happens is during uh, breaking, imbes na kumakagat agad yung preno ninyo, parang napipipi muna to bago siya kumagat. I hope you get the idea. So that's the disadvantage of using organic brake pads. At the same time, yung ganito klaseng bakal kasi, pag dating ng araw, kinakalawang to. So kung makikita nyo dito, yung may mer meron sa mga physical changes dito. Itong mga nababakbak na pintura nito, pagkatagal-tagal na to, kalawang na yan. So, meron lang siyang layer ng pintura that prevents it from, ano, wapansin nyo rito may konting kalawang na. Okay? So, yun yung disadvantage ng ganitong brake pads. Ang advantage naman ito, ito yung pinakamura sa market. Usually, nagre-relinis lang ito 150 to 200 pesos. So, yun. Organic brake pads ang ginagamit ng NMAX natin as stock front brakes. Sa harapan na, sa harapan. Ito naman mga kabote, ito naman yung stock rear brake. So, nalinisan ko na din to. Ang kagandahan naman dun sa rear brakes niya ay these are made from ceramic material. I don't know if you can notice but meron siya mga copper fiber sa loob. Yung mga kumikinang na nakikita yung brown-brown sa pads na to, those are copper fiber. Ang disadvantage naman ito, yung ginamit na bakal, is ay ayun nga, meron lang siyang manipis na layer ng pintura. Pagdating ng araw, ano mangyayari? Kinakalawang. So again guys, yung ipapalit nating brake pads are from Ilig. Na-unbox ko na siya. Ito naman yung brakes ng Ilig. So ito yung sa front brakes. Ang kagandahan nito guys, ceramic agad yung ating front brakes. Tapos, yung ating back plate, this is zinc coated. Pag zinc coated yung brakes, ang advantage nito, matagal before to mag-fade, matagal before kalawangin. Ang advantage naman guys ng ceramic, hindi ko nabanggit kanina, yung ceramic na brake pads, they tend to have more life before ka magpalit ng brake pads under normal driving conditions. Tapos, ang kagandahan nitong brake pads nito guys, This is new technology. Gumagamit na ito ng tinatawag natin na NRS New Cup Technology. N-E-U-C-A-P. Ligay ko na lang dito. Okay. Ang kagandahan nito, meron tong parang ngipin sa likod. May mga ngipin to dito sa likod. Yun yung nagsilbing adhesive niya. So, itong brake pad, pinres lang to dito, kinabit, gamit yung mga parang barbed wire sa ilalim. So, walang chemical dito sa gitna. Ang kagandahan kasi guys, pag NRS or new cap technology na, yung ganong klase ng banding ng brake pad sa kanang backplate, halos ubusin mo na yung brake pad bago ka magpalit. Kasi yung ganitong klase na gumagamit ng chemical para magband yung brake pad, hindi tayo sure baka kumalas dahil dun sa ginagamit nilang pandikit. So yun yung advantage ng bagong technology ng pagkabit ng brake pads as compared dun sa luma. So, yun. So, with that guys, kakabit na natin to sa NMAX. Tapos gagawa ulit tayo ng review sa braking desk stats. So guys, second day na na ang ating trial para dito sa ating brakes. Nakabit ko na kahapon yung ceramic brakes natin. Uh, Napaikot-ikot ko na rin siya for about 12 to 15 kilometers. So, most probably, the brakes are already nakabed. Tawag kasi natin dun sa brakes kapag binibrake in siya, bedding. So, nakabed na to. Sa tingin ko kasi naramdaman ko na iba na actually yung feel ng brake sa harap sa kasalikod. So, we will just repeat the experiment today. Uh, as you can see, nandito ulit yung setup natin. We'll repeat the experiment. Run at 40 kilometers per hour. Brake at that line and see the braking distance. So, hindi ko pa talaga ito natitest pero sa papakiramdam ko pa lang uh, nagbago talaga yung brakes ni NMAX natin. So, check natin ha! So, guys, attempt number one. Actually, the conditions today are different from yesterday. Uh, umulan kanina kaya medyo basa yung kulsada pero hopefully makita natin yung difference from yesterday's attempt to today's attempt na napalitan na natin ng ceramic okay attempt number one ceramic brake in action in 3, 2, 1, go okay so 
So pansin natin In between 4 to 5 meters Nag stop na yung brake natin Okay Test number 2 Attempt number 2 Let's go Let's go Okay so again In between 5 and 6 meters Let's try it one more time guys One more time Okay third attempt Let's go Halos si Hagis ako paharap So ayun again 5 and 6 meters So I think yesterday It was 6 and 7 meters So the total braking distance Is less than 1 meter So yun mga kabote Bonus attempt lang I'm just curious Let's try to run this bike At 50 kilometers per hour And, and let's see the total braking distance Just one more attempt Na-excite kasi ako eh Ang lakas ng preno niya guys Para akong iyahagi sa harapan Yun yung difference ng brakes kahapon As compared today So just one bonus attempt And let's pack up Let's go Okay So again 6 to 7 meters distance Yung ating attempt For the 50 kilometers per hour That concludes our ceramic brake pads Ilig comparison as compared to the stock brakes Balik na tayo dun sa aking bahay So yun mga sir Tapos na yung ating comparison Ng ating stock brakes Versus the performance ceramic brakes So while we are talking about My experience regarding the brakes Let me just play the stock brakes as compared to the performance brakes lagay lang natin dito sa gilid so what are my thoughts regarding the brakes sa so, mga naka nmax dyan and other uh, underbone users pag napapansin nyo na yung brake feel nyo ay medyo squishy parang sponge medyo malambot uh, there's a chance na yung brakes na yun organic so I am suggesting that you choose the ceramic ones or better to change it to another brake pad material in order for you to upgrade that braking experience para sa mga nagkakarera, para sa mga nagkakarga, para sa mga nagsiset ng panggilid sa mga hilig magkamote sa kalsada huwag niyong kakalimutan guys na mag-upgrade ng brakes so mga sir, this video, just to clear things out, this is not sponsored by Elig Philippines binili ko yung brake pads na yun on my own money para i-share sa inyo yung ano yung mga nami-miss out nyo sa paggamit ng stock brakes. So una, para sa akin, brake feel. Okay? Mahalaga yung brake feel para magkaroon kayo ng confidence in braking. Kasi once na nagpapatakbo kayo ng mabilis, if you are confident in your brakes, madali nyo mapapahinto yung motor. So number one na na-upgrade using the Elig ceramic brakes, brake feel. Pangalawa, using ceramic brakes, mas matagal kasi yung life ng ceramic brakes as compared to stock brakes. Though, ang catch dyan, mas mahal yung ceramic brakes as compared to the stock ones. But, they tend to perform longer and they tend to wear out longer so hindi agad siya napupudpod. Kaya sulit yung bayad nyo sa kanya. And last but not the least, yung third on my list is the braking distance or the stopping distance. Nakita nyo naman dun sa drone shot natin na 1 meter yung difference ng stock brakes as compared to the performance ceramic brakes. Kasi guys, kung dadali natin sa sitwasyon no, sa totoong buhay, yung 1 meter na distance, that could have been a child crossing the road, that could have been a stone na nakagitna sa kalsada, huminto, nakamote sa harapan mo nang hindi mo napapansin na inabot mo dahil hindi agad kumagat yung brakes mo. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, Mas murang magpalit ng brakes kaysa sumemp lang, ma-hospital, magalusan yung mga mahal nyong motor. Huwag nyo nang hintayin pa, magpalit na kayo ng brakes, mura lang, tatagal din naman. So with that guys, I hope manalo kayo sa raffle. I hope na i-share nyo tong video for the education of all the riders out there. Also guys, if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share this video to your friends and relatives and your co-riders out there. So with that, guys, babush! See you later!